All right, Tennessee Titans fans, we are back today checking out a clip from NFL on NBC talking about how Calvin Ridley to the Tennessee Titans is a downgrade. This was during the fantasy football happy hour. So this ought to be a dandy. <laughs> it's a downgrade, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's move to the wide receivers here, and we've you know briefly touched on some of these already. Mike Evans re-signed on a two-year deal for $41 million with the Bucks. Michael Pittman gets the extension he was looking for, three-year, $70 million deal with the Colts. Mm -hmm. T. Higgins has been franchise tag, reportedly requested a trade. Not a lot of action going on there around Cincinnati. T. Higgins. Calvin Ridley gets a monster deal from the Titans. Four years, $92 million for the 29-year-old Calvin Ridley. Deontay Johnson being traded to the Panthers. Gabe Davis one. signed a three-year deal with Jacksonville. Mike Williams has been released by the Chargers, so he will hit free agency. And the action didn't stop there. Darnell Mooney, as we mentioned, a three-year okay. deal for last year. Big one. I mean, he's somebody that ends up going to the Titans on a massive deal. Oh, Nick Holes uh, is the Titans offensive coordinator. He was Jacksonville's pass game coordinator, so there is some familiarity here for a team that desperately needed a number one wide receiver. Yeah, feels like a real Madden franchise mode offseason from the Titans. Let's just get Tony Pollard and Calvin Ridley, and we already got DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, and, you know, the, the offensive line will be better, as you mentioned, but I don't... So it pretty much means that... Uh, I, I just don't even like this guy's tone right off the bat, by the way. He, he, sounds, he sounds like he's, you know, already, uh, well... Very negative. Um, it's like a oh, Madden. Um, because they had a lot of money and signed a bunch of guys. Like, what do you want them to do? Put it in savings? Like, start a savings account with it? Like, they had a lot of money. They went out and got a bunch of guys. They had a bad roster. <laughs> they just went out and got good players. It's like Madden really understand the deal like why don't you just give this deal to aj brown That's... a couple of years ago which is the bizarre oh 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 because everybody nearly that had anything to do with that stupid decision is no longer employed by this organization i i don't know like i i don't know what it, it's it's like blaming the new manager at your job for something that the old manager did that was stupid. I, I guess it was dumb, but first of all, it's been like, it's been two years now. I, I, I feel like we're going to be in the year 2064 and they're still going to be sitting here like, no, they shouldn't have traded AJ Brown. You know, like the, we're still going to be hearing about it forever. Listen, it was stupid. It was dumb. Absolutely should have re-signed him. But the person who was the GM when that happened literally lost his job within a few months of that. The person who was the head coach at that time lost his job. And as stupid of a decision as it was, why are we hanging decisions from the previous regime over the current regime. Ray Carthon had nothing to do with it. Brian Callahan had nothing to do with it. Like, why didn't they just pay AJ Brown? Because they weren't here. Bar element. I do think that Ridley, and we talked about this last week, that I think there is reason to believe. It's a different general manager, though. I, yeah, I, know, thank but you. It's still, I mean, it's, right. Yeah, okay. uh, it doesn't look right. It feels like an owner. Oh, okay. So it, it's. His response to this guy is rightful retort where he says, hey, it's a different GM now. And his, this brilliant guy's response is, well, it's still, it's still what? It's still the old GM. No, no, it's a new GM. It still doesn't feel right. Uh, okay, I... I I don't know. I, I don't know what... I I don't know what to tell you. I, I wish it felt better. Believe me. I watched the night he was traded. I, I wish we had re-signed him. It didn't feel right then either. But I, I 
you've got to move on, dude. You've got to move on. Though. I, yeah, with I know, the but it's still, thing, I mean, it's, right. yeah, okay. uh, it doesn't look right. It doesn't like look right. Ownership but, thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, buddy. It feels like an ownership thing because that's just a convenient thing to say. That's just the convenient thing to say. We need somebody that who's still there that was there then. One person, okay, let's just put it all on them then because that reinforces our stupid argument. So This one might be making me the most mad of any that I've watched. And I wasn't expecting that. I honestly thought this video was going to be a dud. But this is making me madder than just about any that I've watched. I do think there is reason to believe that Ridley can be better than he was last year because now look, it's a quarterback downgrade from Lawrence to Levis, but Levis is on an upward trajectory. Lawrence was banged up all last season. And Trevor Lawrence is also overrated, so... Ridley just hadn't played football in a long time as well, but overall, uh, I don't really understand the deal. I would guess that he's probably going to have greater target share uh in tennessee just because it's really just two guys there as opposed to dealing with uh, tyler boyd on the roster is tyler boyd on the roster did he get signed all those guys you tony pollard ty J. spears deandre hopkins tyler boyd just i guess chigo conquo all those guys are just irrelevant it just i i like bro you deserve to be sponsored by Applebee's. Greater target share uh, in Tennessee just because it's really just two guys there as opposed to dealing with uh, Christian Kirk and Evan Engram, but uh, it's a very strange fit. He listed two people. As opposed to, you know, having to deal with three guys. And, and he still does have to deal with three guys because Tyler Boyd is in Nashville. Am I, uh, dude, I don't even know if I can continue. I don't even know if I can continue watching this video. There's nothing that drives me up the wall worse than watching people speak with total confidence on something that they have no clue what they're talking about. See, I, I think it's I think it's negligible. I think it's actually I think it's a slight fantasy downgrade for Well he's um, got a worse quarterback, which is the problem. He's going well he's going to he's going to a worse quarterback, I would argue just a worse offense that's not gonna be in scoring position nearly as Do these men understand that there's no way we could know what the offense is going to be? There's no freaking way that we could know like what the offense is going to look like because it's a whole new staff. It's a new head coach. It's a new offensive coordinator. It's a new defensive coordinator. We're not even talking about defense right now, but it's a new defensive coordinator. Calvin Ridley's new, Tyler Boyd's new, Lloyd Cushenberry's new, Tony Pollard's new, J.C. Latham is new, whoever's on the right side of the offensive line, at least one of those guys are probably going to be new, and you're sitting here saying it's a worse offense? How do you even know? How do you know the Jags offense is going to be good? They've got a quarter, they they were 8-3 and three and melted down and finished 9-8 and eight and missed the playoffs, and we're just, a, we're just acting like that never happened. We're just assuming that whoever the heck they replaced Gabe Davis and Calvin Ridley with, I don't even, or excuse me, not Gabe Davis, uh, the other guy, I don't remember. They replaced Calvin Ridley at least with Gabe Davis. That's what I meant to say. Christian Kirk is fine. But like you guys are acting like Calvin Ridley just came from the freaking 49ers and he's coming to the Titans now. And you're also acting like you can even possibly remotely know what the Titans offense is even going to look like. How could you know? It's going to be a completely different team. It's going to be a completely different coaching staff. And you're sitting here talking with authority like, oh yeah, we clearly know what this is going to be. You No, you don't. Now, if it was still Vrabel, if it was still the same people coaching, then yeah, that argument might have some weight to say uh, it's going to be a worse offense. How do you even know? Oh, oh I got to take five. Too much. Um, and I would argue that he has as much target competition as he had in Jacksonville, but with lower pass attempts to go around, right? I mean, so you've, you've still got Traylon Burks. Lower pass attempts to go around. Does he know Mike Vrabel got fired? Does he know that Brian Callahan's the head coach? Does he know Derrick Henry is in Baltimore now? Why are we... Am I in the Twilight Zone? Why are we still acting like... Why are we still acting like Derrick Henry's going to get 35 carries a game 
We, this is not the same Titans. I, oh, you lose all credibility with me when you say stupid stuff like this. What are you even talking about? You're talking about an offense that doesn't exist anymore. Sarah, DeAndre Hopkins. You got my guy, Chica Conquo. You know, Pollard and Tajay Spears are not nothing in the passing game as well. They'll take, you know, a handful of targets a game. And so, yes, now, Ridley getting this kind of money, like, they're, he's their number one. They're going to want to, you know, funnel targets to him. But again, so it's sort of, it's really kind of like how good is Will Levis going to be and how well can they protect Will Levis, right? Again, we've talked about this. This is the worst offensive line in football last year. And so this was the worst offensive line in football. How could you possibly still say is the worst offensive line when there's like one guy from last year's offensive line even coming back? I, I it's it's like giving attributes of your ex to your new girlfriend. It it it's forget her. It's not the same thing. It's a different person. So if he if they don't upgrade that line in a significant way, and Levis, is when was this uploaded? When was am, am I going crazy? When was this uploaded? Four months ago. Okay, maybe I'll give him a little bit of leeway. Because, okay, I will give him leeway in the fact that we did not have Tyler Boyd then. So that whole rant I went on about Tyler Boyd. They didn't know we had Tyler Boyd yet. Whatever. But how could you not know if you're these guys that the Titans were in the process? They hadn't drafted... Uh, Latham yet, but how could you not know that they were in the process of rebuilding the whole offensive line? I, I just constantly under siege. Like it's the same. OC, you know, um, you know, uh, Nick Holtz, you know, their, as you mentioned, their offense coordinator. He was the passing game coordinator in Jacksonville, so it's going to be a lot of the same playbook, which helps Ridley. But I think I, the this, one to me, I, I would argue this is a. I was more excited about Calvin Ridley on Jacksonville last year than I am about Calvin Ridley on Tennessee this year. Yep, no, I think that makes sense. Yeah, of course you were. Of course you were, because we still are loving the idea that Trevor Lawrence is finally going to be who we said he was going to be. Oh, because he showed signs that one time. And so we were still, <laughs> still hoping. We were more excited about Ridley on that team because it's Trevor Lawrence. And he looks like the girl from Glee. And we are so behind him because he was touted in the draft as being the next Joe Montana, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, Peyton Manning, all rolled into one and hadn't lived up to it yet, getting paid a booty ton of money to be booty. Sense. I think you will have potentially less efficiency, less touchdown equity. They will be throwing. Well, I mean, it's a tough one because they're a worse team than Jacksonville. So presumably they'll be in throw scripts more often. I don't think I can do it, guys. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can continue watching this video. I don't even think I can continue watching this video. I, I don't even think I can do it. But sure. they may not want to let Levis drop back as much as the Jags will let Trevor Lawrence drop back. Then why are we... Why are we making all these moves then? Why why even pay? They paid Calvin Ridley $92 million and you think they brought him in here to run block? DeAndre Hopkins is 32 years old coming into the yeah. season, so he could be on the depth. The thing is, is though, I feel like he's just going to be making contested catches till he's 35. Like, I don't think he's yeah. super dependent on his speed. Not at all. He's, he, he, Never has been. Again, obviously a very different player, but yeah, I, to me, he's like Larry Fitzgerald. Like, yeah. just, right. whatever. Just get it somewhere near him and he's yeah. coming down with it. He's not... His game isn't built on separation. First thing they've yep. said that no, I age as well. Yep. So, yep. so overall, I think it makes Ridley a higher variance player. I think he's got a lower, much lower floor now, but he might have a higher ceiling just because Levis has more upside and he is more locked in as the number one guy. I think. Does Levis has more upside after you have just spent the last four minutes and twenty five seconds pretty much saying he sucks? Now you say Levis has more upside. So which one is it? Does he have upside or does he suck? Because right now, I can't really tell what you're saying. You're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Yeah, well, we did see, We did see. if you want to make a, a pro case for him, is right, right, follow the money, the second year for Ridley, back to football and back in the same system. And, you know, Levis has a cannon for an arm. And so who are they throwing deep to? I mean, they're going to throw more deep to Ridley than, you know, and so maybe they take some more deep shots yep. and everything like that. And you have... 
you know, it, it's Callahan as the as the head coach coming from Cincinnati, and so is there some, you know, Jamar Chase type, you know, plays in there, you know, like that they, again, he's not Jamar Chase, but could they see him in that role, if you will, so to speak? Just doesn't feel like it's going to work out. No, I, I'm, I'm, try, <laughs> I'm trying to argue that. Oh, I, yeah. I, when all else fails, when all else fails and your argument starts to fall apart, just hit them with, just doesn't feel like it's going to work out. Just, I, I don't know. Just doesn't feel like it. I could punch. I could, I'm not a violent person. I could punch that wall right now. I could punch a wall. I'm not going to do it because it ain't worth getting a new wall. But I, I could, I could punch the wall. This just doesn't feel like it's going to work out. But then, what, what great analysis, by the way. What great analysis from these guys. You, we're going to talk for five minutes, all to come to the conclusion of, I just don't feel like it's going to work out. I just don't feel like it. I, I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it's going to work out. Why is that? Because it's the Titans? Because they're not fun to talk about? Because they're... They're not one of your shiny little toys under the Christmas tree like the Cowboys or the Colts or, you know, of course the Chiefs, but at least the Chiefs win. Um, you know, the the Jags, obviously, you know, we love the idea of that. So then it's the Titans. Eh, we don't really care about them. So we just don't feel like it's going to work out. I just don't feel like it. Just come on. If If the Titans are good... If the Titans are good, there's going to be a day of reckoning on YouTube and I'm bringing it in. I'm ushering it in. If the Titans are good, I'm you, you let the Titans start season 3 and 0, 4 and 0. If that happens, I will come right here on this I I will be right here. And I will be out of control. I'm going to be out of control. You're going to have to call the police. You know, like that they, again, he's not Jamar Chase, but could they see him in that role, if you will, so to speak? Just doesn't feel like it's going to work out. No, I, I'm, I'm, try, <laughs> I'm trying to argue that, oh, I, yeah. I, like I just said, I yeah. feel worse about it. I think he's a low-end wide receiver three. I'm probably yeah. going to have very few shares of okay. Calvin Ridley. Yeah. A low-end? Well, they're talking about fantasy, but still. This uh, year, but... If you want to make the pro Calvin Ridley case for it, that's the yep. that's the He's argument you're trying to make. I'm yep. just, you know. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from. <sighs> Let's all calm down. Let's all just everything I need to say I have said. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just go do some meditation, try to get my mind right. Have a good day. <laughs>